Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojo. So today we're going to be talking about an iPhone 4S jailbreak tweak known as Spring Demise 2. Now, when you're looking for this in the city store, it is a purchased tweak. It is a uh, commercial package at $2.99, so three bucks. Uh, definitely uh, worth it. I uh, officially purchased this package, and I got the one specifically for iOS 5. They also have a version for iOS 4 and below, I believe like 4.21, etc. But you can see here, this is a all-in-one uh, tweak package that allows you to do tons and tons of things that other, you know, uh, paid uh, paid tweaks and stuff like that do there, uh, do for you. So you can customize the look of your iPhone. You can do a whole bunch of different other features, and you can do some stuff to save battery life, etc. Um, so uh, definitely something to check out here. I'm gonna go ahead and go out here and swipe to spring to mind so you guys can see this here. All right, so here we are in Spring Demise, and these are the settings for Spring Demise. You can see I have it enabled, and you have a couple of tabs here from animations, capabilities, dock, lock screen, icons, folders, and app switcher. If you go down, you have time machine, status bar, pages, theming, notification center, and more. Now let's go ahead and start at the top here. Animations. So animations is something that allows you to edit the animation time of your iPhone, and this actually allows you to have the appearance of your iPhone really uh, acting a lot more snappier. Well, it's not you know physically overclocking the hardware or anything. It's actually just changing the software duration time of your animations. So, for example, I have my custom duration here set, and I turn it on, and I lower the slider because the lower it is, the faster the animation. So, the less time between animations. So, if I was to click out here, and I went over it into my uh, settings here, which should be on my first page, I think. Yes, yeah, settings. You can see here, just uh, noticing. I don't know if you can tell there, which is much more. Um, what do you call it? Snappier when going back and forth. Uh, you can just tell that the animation between loading pages and stuff, it's, it doesn't really wait. It just jumps right into it. Uh, so going back in here, you can also obviously make it slower, the animation slower if that's your thing. You have a slow motion mode if you just want to like show your friends or anything. So again, messing around that slider, it really does help in terms of appearance of the phone acting that much snappier. Um, a couple other things, you can do vertical animation. So app to app transition, you can go uh, vertical instead of horizontal. Uh, old TV animation, I have that set so that when I turn my phone off, it does that sort of thing. And uh, again, you can see a very, very cool effect. And that, that that's a whole other tweak by itself that people buy for like $1. So that's included within Spring Demise. And it plays that sound. And you can change the color from like white, black, gray, all that stuff. And you can set, again, the animation time of that as well. Uh, screenshot flash. So, you know, when you take a screenshot, it flashes white. You can see that. Uh, you can use custom flash so that it would change it to a different color. So if I want to turn that on, I can make it like, uh, I guess, red, for example. And then I would go back to the Spring Demise. I would say reload or respring. So I'd have to wait for the phone to respring. And this happens anytime you do a tweak within Spring Demise. You have to respring the phone. So now you'll notice once this turns on here, once I get to my lock screen, and this is loading lock info. And I take a snapshot, it snaps red now. So you can do uh, little uh, tweaks like that. Uh, a couple other things you can do in Spring Demise. Capability-wise, you can enable a lot of stuff that will let you, let you disable and enable features within the iPhone. And this can actually help you save battery life. So for example, since I already have Siri, I disabled voice control. You can disable multitasking if multitasking really isn't your thing. To be honest, I, I usually disable this. It saves a lot of battery life because you have no apps, zero anytime running in the background because multitasking really isn't uh, available or turned on. And you, to be honest, a lot of people don't really use or switch. I guess a lot of people switch between them, but it's it's not that hard to exit out the app and go back to it and you know find the icon and open it again. Um, you can disable HDR. You can enable panoramic shots. Uh, you can disable the front camera if you don't use that, and you can disable a lot of other stuff like the magnometer, the GPS, etc. All right, so whoops, I didn't mean to click out there. Uh, let's look at the other stuff real quickly here. You can go to dock, you can enable the cover flow effect, and you can actually get more than four, uh, four icons in the dock and go all the way up to 10. So for example, right now I'm set at five. You can do a couple of other stuff as you can see there. And you can see my dock down below has that cover flow-esque effect where the icons are kind of bent in and you can tell that. Uh, and you can see there's five of them there. So that is allowing you to edit the dock. Lock screen, I use lock info, so I really don't use anything here that does the lock screen changes, but you can do some other stuff like always show the camera button and instead of double tapping, disable artwork. You can hide the little knob. I do, however, have a custom label, so instead of slide to lock, it says digital dojos. Uh, and you can go into icons, you can do some stuff with the icons, you can have five row icons, you can resize the icons, so stuff that you would do in like shrink and iconoclasm, Spring Demise has that built in as well. 
Folders, same thing. You can do animations with folders. You can even change the icons per line within folders. So rather than four, you can customize that. App switcher, uh, you can customize with that stuff. You can just add, you know, different icons in switcher. You can have more than four. Then when you double tap, you can have a brightness slider included, all that. Um, Time Machine allows for backing up your state of your icons, your wallpapers, all that. So if you ever have to like respring and restore, you, you, you know, you like the way you have it laid out uh, with all the icon sizes and all that. Time Machine is essentially a backup for your spring demise. Status Bar, which is the bar at the top, you can use a custom carrier. Um, as you can see there, I'm using Adrian rather than SoftBank. And you can do a couple other stuff like Padlock, Hide Status Bar. You can hide like icons that appear up here uh, if you don't really like those, you know, if you don't like them cluttering. Pages, you can disable paging. You can disable Spotlight, which I do because I never use Spotlight. Um, and going back down here, theming, that just custom dock and stuff. You can download other stuff from Cydia and uh, download other you know, uh, docs to replace it with. Notification Center, you can disable entirely. You can have instant clear lines, custom lines, uh, and stuff like that. Um, and under more, they just have some other stuff like documentation and all that. So this is Spring to my guys. A really, really great tweak out there. I know I kind of just ran through everything, but there's so much in this app. I, I can't really talk about everything because there's, I've gotten, again, a lot, a lot of tweaks you can do. Um, and the great functionality for this, it's, you know, $2.99, $3, but a lot of the tweaks you get in here are standalone tweaks by themselves that people like buy for a dollar or more. So you really get a huge package here. Definitely, definitely something to check out. Again, Spring to my 2 for the iPhone 4S. This is iOS 5 and above. They also have an iOS 4 version, so check that out. Anyways, guys, check out digitaldojos.com for more videos, more tweaks, and stuff to come. Uh, you can look at the full review of this application over again at digitaldojos.com. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.